This is A.O. Scott. Maids, butlers, waiters, porters. In the 1930s and 40s, Hollywood offered African-American actors few roles beyond servile ones. Was you asking for me, Miss Allen? The film historian Donald Bogle has called the 30s the age of the Negro servant. And the careers of great performers like Clarence Muse and Teresa Harris confirm this marginality. Too often, these actors were not even credited. Someone's going to insult you today if you get out of bed. The off-screen reality was always more complex. However demeaning the roles, they also sustained careers for performers who belonged to another Hollywood, one that included behind-the-scenes activism and the ongoing struggle for creative autonomy. Clarence Muse, often cast as butler or a porter, collaborated with the poet Langston Hughes on the script and the songs for Way Down South, released by RKO in 1939, the same year as Gone with the Wind. I know you're trying to do the best you can for Mars Tim. I'm trying to do the best I can for him too, sir. Gone with the Wind is a regressive fantasy, of course, but as Bogle points out, its black actors transformed their slaves into complex human beings. Hattie McDaniel, who plays Mammy, became the first African-American actor to win an Oscar. But at the time, she was also harshly criticized for helping to perpetuate negative representations. Oh, now, Miss Scarlett, you could... McDaniel's complicated legacy is that she made Mammy more than just a caricature. Hattie McDaniel is the most famous of three siblings who appeared frequently in the old Hollywood. Her brother, Sam, had more than 200 roles to his name, many uncredited. Their sister, Etta, can be seen, however briefly, in films like Son of Dracula. Working within a white supremacist system, the McDaniels and other black performers did what they could to infuse their limited roles with artistry and dignity. Even as modern audiences cringe at these stereotypes, it is possible to appreciate the artists who played them. And sometimes, what we see in a movie like the RKO Western, The Arizonian, suggests a whole other dimension to the story.